In this video, I will show you how to make a selection using the pen tool. For more tutorials, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. So I'm going to select the pen tool from the toolbar. Once I select the pen tool, I will have access to the pen tool options. I am going to make sure path is selected. To get a better look at the edges of the image, I am going to zoom in. I can quickly do that by pressing Ctrl plus the spacebar for Windows or Command plus the spacebar for Mac and moving my mouse to the right to zoom in or the left to zoom out. I am going to find a spot where I want to start the selection and I'm going to make my first anchor point. Then I'm going to click and drag to make my second anchor point. You will notice that now I have two handles. These are called direction handles. They control the angle and the length of the curve. So if I move the handle back and forth, it changes the angle of the curve. And if I make the handle longer, it lengthens the curve. And if I make it shorter, it shortens the curve. I am going to adjust the handle so the curve aligns with the edge of the hair. Then I'm going to press and hold the Alt key, Option key on a Mac, and then click on the second anchor point to break the handle. By doing this, I have total control of the direction. Then I'm going to click and drag to make my third anchor point. I am going to follow the same steps I did before. Press and hold the Alt key, Option on a Mac, then click on the anchor point to break the handle. Now when I get to the tip of the hair, I need to change direction. I can follow the same steps to break the handle, which will allow me to change direction, or I could click and hold the Alt key, Option key on a Mac, and move the handle to change direction. Then I can make my next anchor point. Here is another technique. This time, instead of breaking the handle, I am going to press the Alt key. Then I am going to move the handles so it's pointing in the direction of the next anchor point. It's also a good idea to keep the handle short. So I can use any of these two methods to complete the pad. Once I get to the end, I am going to click on the first anchor point to close the path. After closing the path, to make a selection, I can right click and click make selection. So that is how you can make a selection using the pen tool. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Also, make sure to check out some of my other Photoshop tutorials.